Hello and welcome back to another vlog. We're here at Magic Kingdom today. It's the 1st of December and yes, I am still in shorts and t-shirt. Uh, I've got my holiday Christmas lights on though. I picked these up from the dollar store, so um, not as pricey as the ones that they sell here at Disney, but they, they still do the exact same thing. Uh, so, you might know, yesterday, again, it's the 1st of December today, so the end of November, yesterday, um, they installed the Hatbox Ghost here at the Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World. I didn't get the chance to come yesterday once, at the day they installed it, so I'm here today to check it out. So let's just uh, not waste any time and head straight inside, because I'm really excited to see this. I'm still unsure of how it's going to look inside the mansion here, because it's a different place and things, and there's been a lot of controversy about it, but we're going to go and, and check it out anyway, so let's just head straight in. Okay, because it's a Christmas party day today, uh, the weights are really low for everything because the park closes early for the Christmas party, so people don't really want to pay a full day ticket price for the, to have the park close at like six or something, whatever it is. So the wait times are really, really low today. Uh, Peter Pan's flight is currently 15 minutes, which is insane. So I'm gonna head on that because I, I haven't been on it yet this trip. I never got it on the last trip in September. Um, so a perfect opportunity to head uh, onto the attraction now, sorry, the, the photo pass is right there, taking pictures. It's a really weird spot, like straight in the walkway of the castle. Um, but yeah, so let's head on Peter Pan's flight before we head on the uh, Haunted Mansion. And as well as the heat being back, uh, the humidity is back a little bit as well. I've got my backpack on, I'm starting to sweat a little bit, which is never a good thing. Um, so let's made it to Peter Pan. It looks quite long. It does not look like a 15 minute, excuse me. But I'm gonna go check it out anyway, because on the, on the app it said 15 minutes. And here, okay, it says 35. Strange. Hmm. Should we wait for it? Should we come back? I feel like we'll come back later, a little bit later on. It might be a bit quieter later. Okay, so we're gonna risk it. We're gonna head over to Tomorrowland because apparently an hour Space Mountain is a 15 minute wait, which I'm not too sure I believe after we've just seen that. But I'm gonna head over and give it a give it a check it out anyway, just because it's 15 minute wait for Space Mountain. I'll keep an eye on the app while I do while I head over there, just to be safe. Um, but yeah, I have my uh, DAS return time for Haunted Mansion, so I've still got a little while yet. So if it is um, 15 minutes of space, amazing. Um, so let's just, let's see. Okay, we made it across, standby says 15 minutes, so let's jump in line and see if it actually is a 15 minute wait, shall we? Okay, I will say I'm glad to get in some AC because it's so humid outside that I'm starting to sweat real bad and that, that is not good. So I'm glad to be inside and a little bit of air conditioning. Okay, it's already been about 10 minutes and we have this to get through, so I don't think it's going to be a 15 minute wait. Maybe more like a 25, maybe 30. I'll keep you updated. I couldn't have made it up if I wanted to. About 20 minutes into the line, we moved quite far, but then the lights went on and Space Mountain has gone down. Um, no idea how long this will take. Okay, so I've been waiting for about half an hour now. No further forward. Luckily we're not stuck in the train like that. Jeez, I feel sorry for them guys. Um, so yeah, I decided to leave and come back a little bit later on. Um, I'm sure it won't be busy all day long as well. Uh, Luckily they're empty on that side. Yep, they're still delays. I thought they were going to say that they're back up and running then, but no. Okay, so we're going to head to Haunted Mansion. No. Okay, so we are out of Space Mountain now, headed over to the Haunted Mansion, and I'm really hungry. Uh, I can smell all the smells. I kind of wish I brought my popcorn bucket with me just to get some popcorn to snack on, but hey -ho. Um I'll have to get something to eat after I ride the mansion, but I just can't wait to see how long. So I'm going to head over there now and let's just do this because I've been waiting so long for this. We made it. The Haunted Mansion is right there. But before we head into the Haunted Mansion, actually, I kind of want to head into Momentum Mori, see if there's any uh, new Hatbox merch that's appeared. I don't think there will be, but it's worth a check. So we have all the usual things that have been in here for quite a while now, including that really 
strange material suit. There's not too much new things in really, mostly the stuff from when the movie was released. Um, but I did just spot this picture up here. It's really cool. I like that. Okay, so enough hanging around. Let's head inside. <laughs> and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. At this time, Jack is actually away from the walls and into the dead center of the room. Your cadaverous pallor betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> There's always my way. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you prematurely. So there we go, there's the Hatbox Ghost in the Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World and again he looks so much better in person than he does on screen so if you're looking at him on this uh, video or in other photos and thinking he this doesn't look right, trust me he looks a lot better in person. Uh, I will be going back on it again uh, very shortly, I've already been on it twice now. I will be back, going back on it again shortly but apparently the line for Big Thunder is now quite short. It is now, what time are we on? It's almost 4pm, 
park closes at six for the Christmas party tonight. So I'm going to hope that a lot of people are going to be leaving before park close. So that way, but then again, the whole party plan is going to be here. So it might not be, I don't, mm, we'll see. It's up to 30 minutes now, so. Do I hop in? I don't know. I don't know, it's quite warm still. The sun is quite, like it's beating down. I'm not too sure if I want to stand in. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so we went on uh, Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, met a guy in the line who was chatted with and we rode together and then went on home to mansion together uh, for my third time today. So I don't really want to film too much but with somebody that I've only just met. So yeah, we rode those. Um, I've just been called for my Tron time now. So I'm going to run over to the other side of the park head on Tron again um, before leaving because the party will start be starting pretty soon and I have things on tonight so I'm going to head back uh, home after I finish here at the Magic Kingdom so my final one will be Tron and then I'll be leaving and it's starting to cool down quite a bit now as well now that the sun's setting which feels so much nicer <laughs> I'm waiting. So hopefully we're not um, locked up. And there we are. <laughs> okay, so I've just got on the Tron light cycle run. I waited for the front row, which is a hundred times worth it. I don't care. Front row is like so much better on that ride over everything else. The ride's kind of short, so you may as well make the most of it. But now Magic Kingdom is closed at 6 o'clock, party at night, so I'm headed off out. So, for this vlog, basically, have you been to see uh, Handbox Ghost yet? What do you think of it? Do you enjoy it? Because I know there's a lot of controversy, as I mentioned. So do you enjoy it being there and, and in its location that it's in as well? Let me know in the comments below. And hope you've enjoyed this one. Thanks for joining me again and be sure to stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you there.